people in gems and jewelry fields would soon be able to study gemology online on campuses or gemological institute of america or gi8 approach to promote quality of numerous jewelries joseph josenton reports the institute is introducing gem and jewelry education programs or gemology and laboratory services to myanmar GIA gives its very first introduction to Myanmar to strengthen gemological ties with Myanmar through research and education. We're here trying to promote the GIA and to encourage more people to get interested in gemology, um, to take part in the courses, whether it's online or to come to Bangkok or to go to many of the different campuses around the world that GIA has. Um, so uh, as far as the technological side and helping, assistance with labs, etc. Um, I think this probably still under plans to a large part and this is just the early stages of, of trying to work with Myanmar. Myanmar has long been known as the best source for sapphire, so rubies, pearls and gemstones. But the industry sources acknowledge that the country is weak when it comes to gems and jewelry technology. Local gemologists and dealers see this as a great opportunity that will make a difference in the industry. We are one step behind other countries when it comes to the technology, I accept. If we could combine our experiences with their technology, it would be such a great potential for the local industry. Most of the dealers from Myanmar are rich in practical experience though. We are stay weak when it comes to theoretical skills, so it will be great if they could launch their comebacks here in Myanmar. The GIA is recognized as the world's foremost authority in gemology for its famous invention and creations, and their presence here in Myanmar could mean higher standard for Myanmar gemology industry. Joseph Josainto, Myanmar International Television.